Hey, this is Alicia.8 and today I'm going to be walking you through the claims website for the ENS airdrop. So this website goes live on Monday the 8th of November and you can check your eligibility for the airdrop and claim your ENS tokens. And most importantly, you can delegate your voting power and vote on the proposed constitution. Okay, let's get started. So this is the beautiful claims website and special shout out to Leon and Atchel on the ENS team who have been working really hard on this. Uh, so the first thing we do is connect our wallet. So I'm just going to hit connect wallet. Uh, these are all the options of wallets that you can use to connect to the website. I am on desktop using MetaMask, so I will just go ahead and click that. Uh, my wallet is connected and you can see that I'm Alicia.eth and I have my avatar set. We can get started now that we've connected the wallet. There is an automatic calculation based on the formula which will be confirmed on the 8th of November. So these numbers might change a little bit but basically the way that the rewards work is that there is historical activity. Uh, and that gives you a certain number of tokens and so that refers to the any period of registration in the past uh, up to four years in the past and then there are tokens for future registration which is for registrations up to eight years in the future and then if you have your primary ENS name set there is a 2x multiplier and these are just fun facts which uh, include the longest owned ENS name so Mine is Alicia.eth and then the latest expiration makes a lot of sense, but mine is also Alicia.eth for that. So uh, it says that I'm eligible for the airdrops. I can claim my tokens. These, This is the number of tokens that I will receive so I can start my claim process. What is ENS? Your ENS name is your Web3 username and profile, one name for all of your crypto addresses and your decentralized website. Okay, so why launch a token? ENS is an important st ENS, the token, is an important step in further decentralizing governance of the ENS protocol. It will empower community members to direct its development, community treasury, and technical parameters. Why launch it now? Both ENS and the DAO space have matured in the last year. We believe now is the time for ENS to further decentralize protocol governance. Cool, so this is an image uh, and a bit of context around how the uh, token is distributed. And this was also available in a blog post, which you can find on ens.mirror.xyz. Um, so I won't, won't run through this, but uh, essentially any address that has ever owned an ENS name is eligible for the retroactive airdrop. Past and future registrations are counted, with future registrations kept at eight years. Accounts with their primary ENS name uh, set will also receive a 2x multiplier. Okay, this is a really important part. This is a constitution. So you can help shape the community. So this is an initial set of community guidelines um, for which you can vote for or against with your allocation of claimable ENS. So voting is conducted off chain using snapshot, which means that it's gasless. Uh, so we hope that these rules form the basis for a strong community. Approval by two thirds majority of votes cast in the first week is required to ratify a given article of the constitution. Future amendments may be made to this constitution by a two thirds majority and at least 5% of all tokens participating. Okay, let's get started. Article one, name ownership shall not be infringed. ENS governance will not enact any change that infringes on the rights of ENS users to retain names they own or unfairly discriminate against name owners' ability to extend, transfer, or otherwise use their names. And there is an example of a permissible and a not permissible example of how this article may be applied. So I will click approve. Now, article two, fees are primarily an incentive mechanism. So the primary purpose of registration fees is as an incentive mechanism to prevent the namespace becoming overwhelmed with speculatively registered names. A secondary purpose is to provide enough revenue to the DAO to fund ongoing development and improvement of ENS. ENS governance will not enact any fee other than for these purposes. So I'm going to approve that. Income funds ENS and other public goods. 
Any income generated to the ENS Treasury is to be used first of all to ensure the long-term viability of ENS and to fund continuing development and improvement of the ENS system. Funds that are not reasonably required to achieve this goal may be used to fund other public goods within Web3 as ENS governance sees fit. ENS governance will not allocate funds to a team or individual who does not commit to uphold the same principles outlined in this constitution in the use of the allocated funds. And again, there's examples. I'm going to approve. Okay, Article 4. ENS integrates with the global namespace. In order to facilitate making the most widely usable naming system, ENS aims to integrate with the legacy DNS naming system to the greatest extent possible without sacrificing decentralization of ENS. ENS governance will not enact changes that compromise ENS's ability to do this. Cool, I'm going to approve that. Okay, so here you can see that uh, these are my votes. These dots represent uh, each article of the constitution and you can see that my vote has been to approve. So I'm going to sign this, which will require uh, me to confirm a wallet transaction. And also just wanna reiterate that this message is signed off chain and does not cost any gas. So I'm going to click sign Great, so my votes have been submitted. Now I get to choose a delegate. Okay, so it says select a community member to represent you. You can change this at any time. Click on the text box icon to read their application. Uh, you can also delegate to someone not listed or to yourself by entering an ENS name or Ethereum address with the button on the right. Okay, so this is a button on the right. Um, and so if you scroll down, you will see the many, many people who have taken the time to submit, uh, make a submission on the forum to be a delegate. And uh, yeah, this is really incredible. We've had so many people um, apply and that's been really great. So just as an example, I could click here to see the submission on the forum. Uh, and obviously take your time with this section. This is, really important and if you aren't familiar with the delegates or you don't know who you're voting for then definitely take the time to click through to the forum to read uh, all of the submissions so here is a submission here for fire eyes and okay so if i go back here um so i've clicked uh, a delegate that i wanted to delegate to i will just quickly show you though if I enter an ENS name or address, so if there is someone who I want to delegate my voting power to, or I want to delegate the voting power to myself, which you can do, then I would just click this button. And at the moment, because I had FireEyesDAO.eth selected, then they come up, but I could change this. I could make it um, anyone with uh, an ENS name. So I could make it validated.eth. If I change my mind, I, I could go back to look at the delegates. It would repopulate that screen. Um, and then I could choose someone else. So yeah, that is how delegation works. Okay, so once you've selected someone, you can click next. So you just have to scroll down to the bottom here and click next. Okay, so I'm reviewing my claim. It says that I will receive 514 tokens and I'm delegating to FireEyesDAO.eth. Okay, so if I click claim, again, uh, uh, the wallet will pop up and this transaction is on chain and it will require gas. And so depending on what gas is at any given point, um, the cost to claim will for the gas will vary. Um, I will click confirm. And just a quick note on gas is that the claim website is open until May the 4th, 2022. And so you have time, like you can claim at any point between now and then. Um, and if you want to wait until gas is lower then that is, you know, completely your choice and you're able to do that. Cool, so it says continuing. That's it. I have successfully claimed my ENS tokens. I can share on Twitter or jump into the Discord. And 
If you have any questions at all, please jump into the Discord. The Discord is discord.gg slash ENS. Um, otherwise, feel free to ask on Twitter, but we have a lot of support in the Discord. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, this will be live on Monday, the 8th of November EST time. Uh, follow ENS Domains on Twitter to stay up to date.